Okay, skip ahead a little bit here. So I got these metal plates uh, in here and I've got them uh, just tack welded uh, to the frame uh, on the inside back here uh, that I uh, finished. Uh... So, yep, getting ready to uh, take this back portion out again. Uh, that way I can get around uh, where the plates are at right there uh, coming through the wall uh, for the rear frame back here to mount on so I'm hoping to be able to pull that back piece off again and pull all this out with it on uh, both sides and then uh, weld it up stick it back in and uh, I've got screws in here uh, just tapped in uh, to the metal uh, just pulling everything uh, where I need it uh, you know to stay uh, for measuring purposes and welding and whatnot, but Yeah, I'm gonna take all them screws out and take that plate out So here's this uh, back panel uh, or this uh, Frame that I made that I had uh, in the back here. So I pulled all the screws out of it pulled this back and uh, You can see my plates on here that I tack welded uh, Before I removed the frame from the car that way I could get them uh, tacked in exactly where I want them at. So the other two pieces are right here. Uh, they've already got the plates welded onto the end of them. So that's quarter inch, uh, quarter inch thick plate. So that goes uh, right up through that hole. And uh, this one over here has got the bracket on in it as well. And it goes right up in there. So I'm going to focus on getting uh, these uh, pieces on this frame here uh, welded up and uh, hopefully get to being to putting this thing in hopefully for the last time. I know I say that, but that's not going to be the case. But yeah, frame is uh, going along in the front. I had to uh, cut these pieces out here because I had to do some shifting of the piece that comes up through here and that piece there which is uh, actually right now is bolted to the front there. So that's where that's gonna lie. You can see some of where the brackets go for that. So I gotta put steel up in there for that yet. But a little at a time and right now this is my project. So hang with me and I'll show you some more. So I got everything all back together here. Frame is all screwed back in. Uh, so this is what I'm left with. Uh, it's not perfect, so I still have to do a little bit of work uh, on these plates. But uh, the main part is, is uh, this is all tied in uh, to the frame on the inside. So, it's all tied in on the inside. Tied in through there, and then I've got the, the bar that goes through there. And I've got that all tack welded uh, back together through there. So I think my next step is going to be uh, working on this right here, going up uh, and then catching some metal uh, up in this corner up here uh, for the hinge for the door. So um, actually uh, set up my door and mock it up on here already. And... Uh, was able to get a mark uh, up here, kind of hard to see, but there it is right there. So I've got uh, holes and everything for the uh, OE uh, hinge to mount through there. So I'll be drilling that through and then uh, I'll be coming on the inside here, um, right up in that pocket down through there. Uh, I'll be putting a piece of metal uh, it's right up into there. Whoop. Okay, so this is a piece that I've been uh, working on. Uh, I just got the straight piece up there to show you what I started with. So it's got a curvature, obviously, to it. Uh, so I've been cutting and grinding and welding. So what this piece is, is uh, it goes up on the inside uh, of the pillar right here. Uh, so it goes right up inside here. And 
it's going to rest right up inside there. Now I do have to do a little bit more cutting uh, and uh, fitting, but I'm getting pretty close. Uh, so now what I've got to do uh, with this here is since I've got my curvature this way, now it needs to curve a little bit the other way. So I'm going to have to make some slices and some cuts so I can get a curvature on this side. So this is still straight, so that's what I'm going to be uh, working with uh, next. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be today. Uh, it's, uh, it takes a long time uh, cutting and welding and measuring and cutting and welding and measuring. and uh, It's kind of monotonous, but... Uh, yeah, this is what I've been working on. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate this uh, for the other side and uh, just keep building uh, my pieces for the monocoque. I'm gonna keep going on through here. And uh, so this part uh, that I'm, I'm building, it goes uh, basically from tucks in behind that and goes all the way up here, it stops up here. So I'm still gonna have to fabricate a piece to go from here uh, back to uh, tie into that frame right there. So I'll have to do that on both sides and then that'll be the tie-in for uh, that. And uh, I am gonna run a piece uh, straight up here, uh, come forward. And then now uh, this piece over here is gonna tie all into that. Uh, unfortunately, in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to remove part of this piece here. So I'm thinking I'm going to wind up uh, cutting it right in through here. Uh, pretty much all the way down. Uh, same on the other side and pretty much just peeling this panel back. Uh, I'm doing that so I can get my frame in there. Uh, I, I, can't, uh, I can't get it in there and, and weld it with this on. So I'm going to remove this, uh, make my frame, uh, weld everything as best I can. Um, take it out, weld everything, and uh, put it back together, uh, kind of like I did that back part there. So, yeah, I am uh, moving along a little bit. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time, uh, you know, making these curvature pieces that, you know, curve one way and then they curve the opposite way. And, you know, so it just takes a few minutes. But anyhow, I uh, hope you like uh, watching along here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, appreciate it if you do. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Okay, so back in the garage here with another day. So I just wanted to show you this piece here. Uh, that way you can kind of get an idea of, of how I'm getting the shapes and stuff uh, in some of my steel. You can see this side right here is, has a, a gradual curve that comes through here. So uh, what that is is if I step back and show you the, the monocoque here. So that edge right there, right there, uh, fits on the inside up in this edge right here. So it goes from that point to, I've got a little black mark right there. So I'm gonna jump inside this real quick and hold this up, uh, plus show you another piece that I've got mounted in there, so. Okay, so I'm sitting inside this thing now. You can see the piece of steel that I've got uh, right here coming up. And uh, that's uh, tight uh, in here all the way back through. So I've got some screws on the outside uh, here uh, holding uh, this in there nice and tight the where it does not move. So uh, what I've got next is this piece of cardboard that I made my template with. Let me see if I can make this a little smaller. There we go. I do all my filming with this uh, iPhone here. So, so this crack up in here is uh, where this metal is going to sit. So it's just going to butt right up there and it's going to follow this contour all the way back. So what this uh, piece of cardboard is that I had back here uh, sits right up in here once I get the right side in there it's right up in there like that 
So that's how I'm making a pattern to get the curvature on the inside here. And then that's just gonna butt up to that piece. So I've got this same piece made uh, for over here uh, to do the same thing. Uh, that piece is right there. So I've got to do a little bit more work on that. But you can see I, I've made uh, uh, cuts on this. Uh, like if I wanted it uh, to turn more this away. So that I would cut this out on three sides. But I would leave this side intact. Uh, that way I could just bend it a little bit. Uh, each time you go. And then you can see there's no, no breaks or anything on the back side. So that's how I got my curvature. So that's how I'm going to do the same uh, up here. I'm going to be working on this piece today. Try to get it together, screwed in, uh, maybe welded in, and uh, go from there. So I've got some grinding to do here, obviously, and I've still got a little bit more welding to do, uh, waiting on my welder to uh, kick out. It's on overheat right now because I've been using it so much, but anyhow so you can see the gap right here uh in between my template here and my piece uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh fitment and all of it uh so as soon as this uh cools down a little bit uh, i'm gonna get the rest of my welding done here and uh start knocking this down with the grinder getting it all smoothed in and uh then it'll be time to do a test fit in the car so Okay, so now I am laying on the floor inside the monocoque here, and uh, you can see my frame there. Um, so I've been working on this frame up here. So I've got it uh, pretty much curving around the way I want, going all the way back. So that's going to be my hoop. Uh, Got a little bit right here I probably could have worked on a little bit more, but I really don't think it's going to bother anything. Uh, I'm going to get the molds out here in a minute and uh, make sure that they cover all that okay. And if they do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tack it in here, uh, weld it up, and uh, kind of go with what I have here. So I get done with this and then uh, it'll be the same thing uh, on the other side. Uh, I've got part of it uh, built already. So that's, uh, I don't know where that piece is at right now, but yeah, I've got part of this piece already built. So I still have to do this uh, like I did back here. Uh, this was kind of tricky because uh, it curved uh, two different directions. So. Uh, hence all the uh, little cuts in it uh, just to get some small bends in it so that's what I've been up to on this I'm pretty happy with the fitment of it so I'm probably gonna go ahead and tack this in all right so I just wanted to show everyone uh, the process that uh, that I'm using uh, to make my curves here so you see my pattern here uh, I've got lined up right here and then I've got another mark right here. These other marks are where I'm gonna make cuts, uh, like I've done over here already. So I can start uh, bending this in here uh, gradually uh, by pulling this bar in. Uh, it's hard to do with one hand, but you can see I've got it, uh, I've got it started right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tacking these closed that way it'll hold, and then I'm gonna to continue to uh, form this around the bend here. Uh, I'm gonna to have to do some more cuts here, uh, but that should be able to curve right around uh, to meet up with my pattern here. So I'm gonna take this, uh, go ahead and tack up what I've got ready, and then I'm gonna take this back off, do some more cuts, put it back up here, uh, it, it's just a, a process. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of time. I don't have a tubing bender or anything like that that I could use for this. So this is the only way I can get the bend in it. So after I get all this set up, uh, then it's going to have to bend uh, the other way on the other plane. So I'll show you here in a minute. 
Okay guys, so I got a little bit of grinding to do still on this piece here. And uh, I've got to weld this together uh, right at that seam right there that you're seeing. And then I've got a couple uh, cuts in here just to uh, let it bend this away. So uh, this is bending uh, both directions. So I got this piece up in there. I just got that one clamp back there. I got to put a screw back there yet. Other than that, everything else is uh, attached and screwed in. So I got that piece there, and then I got that piece there. So that one's already in, uh, welded up, uh, welded into the back support. So this one's gonna be next. Uh, I still have to do some grinding and a welding uh, before I can finish this piece here. So uh, I have to get to the store to buy some more uh, grinding wheels. So. Uh, yep, that's my uh, progress for the weekend. So uh, I knew that these two were going to be uh, fun to put in because of, uh, you know, the, the way that they bend both directions. So uh, I've got to get some more steel and then I'm going to tie one in from this bar all the way over to that bar. And uh, I'm not real sure what I'm going to do on the rest of the uh, roof portion there yet. Uh, that might be uh, something that I do uh, later down the road uh, because that portion there will be open uh, till, uh, till I get a molding or something uh, installed or made up there. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's my progress for the weekend. So, thank everyone for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do. And uh, we'll keep on going. Um, my next part uh, is getting some more steel so I can get up in here and do that part there. Of course, then I can tie my steel in up here uh, all the way to the bottom. So I'll have to do something like that. And then I'm going to build a frame or something around this edge here uh, just to stiffen it up. And uh, I'll probably take that and tie that in up here somehow. Uh, just to give this some more strength as well. So things are going along well. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.